So the next thing I remember is I'm standing in this quadrangle <laughs> trying to explain to the Dean of Faculty what I'm doing dressed in women's underwear. <laughs> that sounds interesting. I look forward to uni. Yeah. <laughs> is that where you met Vicky? No, no, we met in a supermarket. Both going for the same can of baked beans? Yes, yeah, something like that. <laughs> How often do you commute to Canberra to see her? Oh, well, uh, not often enough, according to Vicky. But, um, you know, we're having a bit of a break. Like you and Matt. But she's still going to look after your book and everything, that's okay. You sure? I mean, if it's difficult for you. No, no, really, it's fine, it is. Okay. I should go. I promised Danny I'd help us sort out some bills. But thank you for the coffee, thank you for the pleasure. notes. I hope the notes help. <sighs> they will. Thank you. See ya. Tom! Hi. It's so I can have a few rays. Yeah, it's about the only place I can get any peace around here. You mind if I sit down? No, 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 I didn't mean you. Please. waves. Some days they're so angry and others so peaceful. Yeah, it's like, it's kind of like they're their own animal, you know? Yes, that is exactly what it's like. Now, I've been sitting out there for an hour watching, contemplating whether I should throw myself in there and amongst the cold, you know, take the plunge. Or whether I should just stay up there where it's nice and warm and cosy. I want to take risks myself. Do you want to take a risk and come in with me? Yes, I will. <laughs> cool. Let's go. Great. First surf together. Away from the people they knew, worlds away. Yeah, I'm listening. The wind was icy, yet he bounded for the surf, wetsuit abandoned. She followed blindly. The lash of the wind forgotten as she threw herself after him into the sea. She couldn't believe the way she felt. She was wet. She was cold. But I can't, I can't get the feeling right. You know, it's, it's like I can describe the action, but I can't internalise it. Yeah, yeah, I think I know what you're saying. I guess the only answer to that is to experience it first hand. <laughs> What does it feel like to be cold water? Oh, what does wet. it feel like? Okay, so her temperature plummeted, all right? Uh, her, her, her flesh pulsated, her heart tingled, and, and she knew it wasn't the water, it was the way he made her feel. Perfect, let's get it down, that's fantastic. Okay. Hi. So, what did you think? Um, well, I'm, I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Really? Yeah, really. I, I think I think it has potential, for want of a better word. And you're not just um, saying that? No, no, I'm not just saying. Really, it's like, it's it's a little rough. In, well, not rough. Rough's the wrong word. It's, it's a little harsh in places, but it has this soul within it, you know, this real warm human soul. Good. Um... I thought you might, you know, understand it. Understand it? I, I, you know, I know these people. They're, they're my friends. They're, they're my enemies. Actually, in fact, your heroine reminds me of an ex-girlfriend. It's sort of based on me, actually. I should have guessed. <laughs> OK, settle down. I've got some great news. Please? Yeah. Our budding novelist, Ali Matz, has been placed on a shortlist for the State Literary Fellowship. If she wins, she's off to the UK for a six-month writing workshop. What up the press? A sneak preview. Congratulations. You put Hartley High on the map and yourself on the literary ladder. Who knows? She's going to be famous. You know, oh, Gabriel oh, Prizes, oh, Miles Franklin. So much you're embarrassing me. Please, do us the honour, just a few words. Please, come on, Ali. All right, yeah. If you had...
have ever experienced the apocalypse of a full moon over a blazing ocean at dusk, you will also understand what powerful thoughts and impulses such a sight evokes. This is why I begin where I do, at the beginning. 